Hello and welcome guys, this is Malik and today we're gonna learn about Git, GitHub and SmartGit. So before starting, for uh, the students who are new with Git, so here are some key points that you can note about Git, GitHub and SmartGit. So Git is a version controlling system, so when in a in software project or some photography project or any type of project that you can save in your hard drive and all the things so when few people work together like five people are working on a software project so they might need some version controlling system because to, to keep track all the things and keep track what each people is working and keep track the bugs and if somehow the code get complicated and we need to make some u-turn or something so we can go back in history okay so just like the send of time okay so we can go backward in time so to start with we simply need to go and install the git okay so for doing that you simply need to write git on Google okay and go here git scm.com okay I will share the link in description and you can also see the URL in big fonts on your screen so yeah okay simply click on that simply download from here okay if you're running on Mac it will automatically show for the Mac right now I'm on Windows so it is automatically downloading for Windows okay so it is simply 41 MB okay guys so the uh, git is downloaded and it is showing three because I have downloaded this thing three times so simply start it by clicking on that okay so we are going to install all the things you don't need to change anything just okay already existing no problem just go away no need to change anything just press next next and next okay no need to change anything actually you can change the configuration while you're installing but to keep things simple we are going to install it as it is and I personally recommend you to uh, use things on default setting because it makes your life easier to make your habit like installing things on default setting using things on default setting okay the installation is completed and I don't want it to view the release node and all the things so simply uncheck this and finish and now you need to press the start button and write CMD okay and hit enter okay so now you are inside the command prompt okay for Mac users they can open terminal with the same way what they need to do is press the command plus a space button and then they will write terminal and hit enter so, okay and you can also google how to open terminal in mac uh, machines and in the linux they also have terminal in the linux they have shortcut like uh, it is control alter and t okay when you press these keys together it opens up the terminal on home directory okay so you need to write git and enter okay so you can see something it means git is installed if you are seeing message like this let me try something else like uh, wit i have not installed any software named wit okay so it is saying wit is not recognized as internal and external command so if you are seeing this command it means you have not correctly installed the git okay so when you see git or minus minus version okay so it it shows you version of your uh, git okay so we have installed uh, the git in our machine and the next step is okay simply close this tab and go to github.com okay so now what you need to do is go to github.com and hit enter okay so actually i have already created account here actually i'm using this this thing from a while like three to four years or five years since 2015 okay so let's open up the incognito tab to show you the sign up process okay to sign up you simply need to give these three things and it will sign you up and you need to press the sign up on github button and after signing up you might see a different screen you might not see this screen okay 
because you know when you sign up they shows you demo how to start working how to do all the things so what you need to do is you need to press this you need to click here okay and go to profile okay go to profile so you start seeing this similar screen hopefully okay and now you can go to repository okay for my case I have 187 repository so far but in your case you might see of course you will see a zero repository because if, if you have just created the Git, github account you of course don't have any repository okay so what you need to do press this button okay to create a new repository yeah so create a new repository and name your repository like uh, demo okay just name it like course demo easy git demo easy git one okay so uh, throughout the course we will create several repositories so i'm just giving it the name one two three four okay so this is public and private uh, of course private is paid uh, private is not free the public is free actually when you need private repositories you have several free options like there are several platforms who gives you uh, free private repositories like git uh, bitbucket and gitlab but the github is most popular among them and all the people uh, uh, are using uh, github so i am uh, making this tutorial with github and once you're up and running with github you can go to any platform all the things are similar and yeah you you don't need any training to shift among platforms okay so they, these all platforms are same okay so simply create the repository okay, so now we have created a repository which is of course empty without any data okay so you, we need to clone this repository in our machines so you simply need to copy this link here and go to c drive and projects demo okay i'm simply creating a, a random folder uh, okay name it like fiction okay and now what you need to do is you need to open terminal in this folder okay the old terminal i'm going to close this you need to open terminal in this folder you have two options to do that actually more than two first option is press shift key and hold it and then press right click and you will see open powershell window here okay so you can press this to open powershell here actually uh, windows have two terminals the first one is powershell and the second is command prompt and both are uh, pretty much same in the context of our course in our course you can do the commands on both it, it would make no difference okay and the second option is you simply need to click on address bar okay press backspace key to remove all previous things simply write cmd and press enter okay doing this will open a command prompt terminal in this folder okay you can see the folder name here and you can see the folder name here okay it's the same and the third thing you can do is you can simply press the start button and write cmd okay it will open up inside the home folder okay and you need to go back and forth okay go back and then actually it is hard so cd users of course okay users then cd admin okay then cd desktop okay no no not desktop actually oh no my bad my bad my bad okay go to projects okay we are in c drive and then projects okay then projects and then okay so if you're wondering how i'm doing this how i'm doing all the things so quickly yeah so let's say if you are in a projects directory okay let's say dir 
and we have two further folders inside this repository inside this folder so and you don't know the full name so what you can do is okay let's say we wanted to go in demo easy git so you will simply write cd and you will write d e and you don't need to write the whole name you can simply press tab okay the tab button uh, the tab button is located in on the on the left side of your keyboard uh, just with the caps lock button okay and you press enter here okay so clear the screen okay so now we are in this directory okay so uh, these are three options and of course there are several more options some are easy some are really hard like this one this one is hard I think so what I will do throughout the course I will use this this method okay this is I think very easy method and easy to understand easy to do okay okay so remember what we have done so far we have created uh, we have installed the git in our machine we have uh, created account on github and we have created a, a repository inside github and here is that empty repository okay we need to copy this url you you can copy it from here you can press this button to copy that okay and then you go back to the folder uh, of your project okay and then you need to write a command git clone and the url okay so by writing this command what it will going to do is it will simply clone the repository from this url okay simply press hit enter okay so we have cloned this repository but it is saying it is giving me warning you appear to have cloned an empty repository okay I know this is empty okay go inside this uh, repository you can see a folder named dot git okay actually this is a hidden folder uh, why it is showing because I have checked on hidden files okay if I uncheck this you, you will not see that but of course as a developer you always need to see the hidden files so I always check this out okay so what you need to do with this uh, folder the first thing you never delete this folder okay in in the Mac machines you will probably not able to see this and Linux machine I'm not sure well you don't need to delete this thing you don't need to edit this thing just leave as it is okay so this is the folder uh, in which git maintain all the history and all the things of your project what you are doing what you're going to do what your friends are doing in the project all the things are maintained here go back to the command prompt okay now we are inside our repository okay you can also call it a work directory okay so this is our work directory now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some files and folders in this work directory okay so let's let's make a file which document okay and uh, I'm going to put some notes okay, open these notes right here are some notes and save it and close it okay and make some folder some pics okay some pictures here and probably I can get some pictures from here okay copy this picture and paste inside the picture folder okay so now what we have in our repository is a text file and a folder with some pictures Okay, so this is the common things which you which you mostly have in your project. If you are doing a photography project, you might have some PSD files, Photoshop projects, some JPEG files, and if you are doing a web project, you might have text files like HTML, CSS, and all the things. Okay, so now we wanted to push that changes to GitHub okay before pushing that what you need to do you need to commit those changes okay so let's see git 
status okay, so we have two changes here okay you can see the changes here and these files are untracked files okay it not yet committed so you know sometime you don't want it to put all the files to the github and all the things you might have some credential files you might have a file with environment or some secret passwords you wanted to use it with the project but you but you don't want to uh, push it on github for public and all the things so what you need to do is you need to add files one by one to the git version controlling if you do not add any file you cannot push it on the github okay so in my case i'm not going to add one by one but i'm going to add all at once okay git add and this is the path actually you can also write dot slash or just dot just dot is easy so let's go with that okay now do it again git status okay changes to be committed okay changes to committed so now we are ready to commit these changes these files are no more untracked okay these were untracked file previously but now these files are inside the git version controlling okay so you need to commit this to commit changes you need to write command git commit minus m for message because if you are doing a project and you are pushing some work you are committing some work you must need to write some message that what you have done in this push so i am writing a message added some pics and notes okay and hit enter okay so i have committed those changes okay so for now these steps might sound overwhelming to you but believe me it is so easy to do and uh, uh, as soon as we proceed further in the course you will find it easy and of course the command line is hard to do you know i'm also not comfortable uh, command line at all i just perform simple easy task on command line and if i got something complicated so i simply move to other tools like a smart git so we will also cover some ui tools which will make your job easier and you know a smart git is simply life changer okay so it will change your life so don't worry it is overwhelming i understand but it is going to be easy very soon okay so now we have committed the change and okay so far we have not pushed any changes in github if you go back to github and refresh the page you will see nothing okay because we have not pushed in this step we are going to push what you need to do is get push origin master okay in this step we are going to push our changes on github it might take some time according to your uh, according to the speed of your inner connection i have like a regular 2 mbps connection so it took like 5 seconds okay so now go back to the github repository simply refresh it and you can see the changes here and we are not going to repeat these steps ever okay we are going to shift on some other tools which are easier to use we we are not we are not going to use the command line throughout the course thank you very much for now please give me your feedback and in the next video we will proceed further and we will explore some useful tools which will make the job lot much easier thank you very much bye bye